and Advance speaks out, with the snuggle struggle proving a test to governments around the world. Advance HQ released a curious statement this afternoon. In the accompanying release, they asked us to stress that they have been listening and that this should be taken as a response to how the people really feel. We've certainly done our bit on this show to contribute to the political climate. But let's not forget, how we behave in our home lives is what really matters. Let's hope it's not just me who filled out that questionnaire, Jeremy, or we're all in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> let's play that statement. Evening. Apparently, we need to have a chat about playing by the rules. So, the other night I were at my local park for research purposes and there were a bunch of lads having a kickabout without a care in the world. And not only did they refuse to let me join in, they wouldn't even let me have a swig of their white stripe. Laughing and joking they were, like there weren't a national crisis on until one of them little pink demons followed them home and kicked the shit out of their nan. So, I've got two things to say to you young, fit folk. One, stay at home. It's not for you. It's to protect your Aunt Mabel and Bill next door. And two, always, always share your booze with your Prime Minister. As me old man used to say, there's only two type of folk. Them who will help you across the road with the shopping, and then we'll kick you in the fanny and nick your macaroni. So don't be a pasta snatcher. Stay at home. Have a brandy. And this will be all over before you know it. Thank you. Good evening. One of the many new jobs I have in this current crisis is to liaise on a daily basis with the Department of Perambulation. And they have made me aware of these. Now, these are genuine requests from citizens for permission to go outside. Now, I would like to share a few of these with you tonight under the loose heading of what the fuck is wrong with you people? How difficult is this to grasp? So I'd like to start with James from Anger Hampton, who says he needs to go out because there's a duck in the park that I like to try and feed on a Friday. I call him Mr. Quackington, and I think we're really starting to bond. No, James, they make their hives in parks. And then Katie, from Self Righteous on Sea, wants to go out so she can deliver homemade meals to the elderly. No, Katie, stay at home, your casserole's dire, and Shirley can get by with tins of creamed rice from the 1950s. And you, Lewis from Hamble Bamblebury. Those screams you heard in the alley last night behind your house are best left to the police. Now, I want to make this as clear as I can. Think first, stop sending me stupid, sodding requests and stay inside. Pretend it's not happening until we tell you it's all over. Thank you. As me old man used to say, when people come together, it's for feasting, fighting, or fucking. Now, let me make this very clear. None of those things are allowed at the moment. No feasting. They're drawn to the sound of happy families. No fighting. They think it's play. And they're programmed to join in. And absolutely no slap and or stroke tickle. They're drawn to the smell. And frankly, who isn't? So, stay inside with your doors and windows tightly shut and try not to seem in any way happy. No joy whatsoever. That should be easy enough for you, Goth. Me and Mrs. C have just taken to discussing the financial markets over breakfast, a subject about which we know sweet fuck all, before moving on to the ex-partners we should have married in the afternoon over tea time. And then a review of our physical insecurities, which settles us nicely into a resentful silence until bedtime, in separate beds. So, if we all follow these perfectly reasonable and sensible rules, we should have everything back to normal in time for the sports board season. Cheers. And good night.
You know, I went to the park last night with a couple of mates for a beer or two, and you know, I am the fucking Prime Minister, so who's gonna stop me? Anyway, the rules aren't for me, they're for tossers like you. And so you come whinging around asking me why I didn't do something in politics. Even when the best thing to do is fuck all, it's usually, I find better, to be seen doing something. Even if that something is a complete fucking waste of time. Like a referendum. And I am doing something. And I find that drinking definitely helps. It stops me thinking about things. It's like, why Mrs. C abandoned me? And why you lot can't take a fucking simple instruction? I mean, what the fuck have I got to do to make you listen? Right around the countryside in a big fucking white horse slicing the little pink shits to pieces with a big fucking sword? Stay inside! Do a jigsaw. If you haven't got one, take a pair of scissors to that god-awful picture you've got of your mother-in-law in the hallway. Take a small enough species. Should take you the best part of a weekend. A big fucking toll on your marriage. Or take up a hobby. Try shocking yourself repeatedly. Or masturbation. That's quite popular at the moment. Apparently. And if you still got the urge to go outside, take a big bastard hammer and nail your fucking feet to the floor and start work on repairing that picture and your fucking marriage. Ladies and gentlemen, team members, friends, I have some excellent news. After weeks of working in my garage, I finally completed my latest DIY project and it's just the fucking job. The snuggle snuffer can detect and incinerate up to a dozen of the pink little bastards at a range of up to 50 yards. I've got it mounted on the guttery and it's already taken out a small clutch of them that were worrying the hens. Sadly, the coop was also lost in, in the subsequent fire, but me and Mrs. C are unharmed and I confidently expect to remain so. Oh, and while I think about it, if the milkman or the postman are watching it, it's probably best if, if you leave any deliveries at the end of the drive for now. I've still got a few cakes to work out. Though if that gardener who upset Mrs. C by gesturing suggestively with a particularly explicit artichoke wants to have a go on the window boxes, He's welcome to have a try. So there we are. Good news, eh? And even if the rest of you are roundly buggered, me and Mrs. C are safe. And that's got to be a comfort to us all, eh? Hey, this will ought to take you back a little bit. I mean, seriously. Why have a lockdown without a lock-in, eh? Here we go. When you're feeling hopeless and you just can't work things out I've got just the job Oh yeah! When there's too much water for a little tiny spout I've got just the job Mist is when your pipes are warm and all your walls have stained I pop around when your rubbies out and roach among your drains But don't you mind how long be gone when he comes back again And that's just a job I've got the perfect tool 